Christianity itself is a culture. You cannot mix Christianity and another culture. You can be a Christian and belong to a company of ethnic people for identification so that you can superimpose the God culture over the culture of the people. The reason is because Galatians 5 verse 22 tells you against such there is no law. That means every culture submits itself to the man who lives according to the culture of God's love. So if that's how your people have chosen to live. If you subscribe to scripture, when they see the outworking, the final product of your subscribing to scripture, they will subdue their culture and bring it under you. Actually, that is the third level of dominion. Because the, God said that let them have dominion. Then the Bible says that God blessed them. And he said, be fruitful. Then multiply. Then replenish the earth. Then subdue it. Ah, ah, why am I leaving my message? It means that when you actually meet the God man, the first thing that happens is that his life begins to become the proof that the word of God is true. That is fruitful. Then multiply. Others begin to take example from him. Replenish the earth. He begins to provide the leading thinking the leading thought in his generation. Subdue it. He ejects every thought that always exists. Have dominion. He becomes the reference for everyone. A city set on a hill that cannot be hid. That's the calling for every man who is called to dominion. And dominion was the reason why we were called. It then means that one of the first marks of a believer is that he does not enter a society and permit the society to inform how he thinks. He walks into a society knowing that I came with superior thought. I came to enforce it. It's part of the reasons why when we get to heaven, many people have to apologize to Lot. Because you know, all the story we have heard about Lot all our life is bad. He left Abraham because he has sharp eye. Went towards Sodom. pitched his tent near Sodom. Then by the time the angels came, he was living inside Sodom. And all we are hearing is how carnal Lot is. Until you start to read about the heroes of faith. Then the Bible says that just Lot provoked his righteous soul, soul daily. Beholding the manner of life in Sodom. And Abraham was confident to say to God, if you found five righteous, ten righteous, that means even Abraham knew that Lot preserved righteousness in the death of Sodom. To the extent to which Lot could say to the men in Sodom, I have two virgin daughters in a city where sex is free. You have to arrive knowing that you have superior culture. That's the real problem. Maybe we should Colossians 2 to close today. When I arrive at close, I have not arrived there. You have to inform yourself, I am completing him. I am completing him. I am completing him. Believers think like we lack, lack something. So we carry our godly culture as though it is a Jew culture. As though we are the ones that should be ashamed to present our culture. So we are not, we don't even want anybody to identify us as Christians. As if we don't know. Our culture is superior culture. Register it in your mind. Christianity is not, it's a culture. You cannot mix it with another culture. Oh, 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 I am looking in the mirror. Oh, 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 I'm becoming what I see. Oh, oh, oh I send me the hope of glory. Oh, 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 it's the song of the new man. So, everything God needs to do, He has done. 
listen i found out very painfully in my journey that people even begin to avoid you when they see that you are serious about this god culture i told someone recently that you love the product but you don't love the life you don't like the process you love the product you love the fact that i can love you you love the fact that i can be simple around you you love the fact that i can play with you i can be happy around you i can solve your need you love it but every time i reveal to you the process of death that made me who i am it makes you run away because I, i've heard girls say if we go the way you know they call me dado in my church if they if we go the way that is going we'll not marry nobody will marry us The reason is because you are taking the God standard and you are putting it in front of them. And you are saying to them, why don't you focus on developing who God made you? So that when the man sees you, he sees you identified with God. And I preach it out of scripture that Eve's first interaction was not with Adam. It was God who brought her to Adam. We don't have a record of how long Adam slept while God and Eve were talking. So Eve did not come blank so that Adam can use her. She came mandated. She knew where to help him. Well, you know, the fall of Eve has damaged the female man so greatly that a major priority in our lives is to marry. Then we marry and we regret for years because we did not take the time to sit down and say, what is God bringing me here to fulfill? We just want the societal profile of me to our missus. <laughs> if we should leave me, let me preach. Ooh. What was the Lord designed to fulfill? That's what I was saying. Hebrews chapter 8. I think I read verse 9 now. No, Hebrews 8. Hebrews 8. Verse 9 now. Hebrews 8. Yeah. Even the person on the system is lost listening to what I said. He has now lost all the scriptures. We can give you a moment. Okay, he's now. Okay. So I showed you that God did not regard them because they could not continue in the covenant. Right? That means that God will not now say this is faulty. Let me give them a new covenant. Then you give them, you now give us another covenant that we cannot continue in. Next verse, verse 10. Let me run out of here. This is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws where? In their mind and write them where? Because Proverbs chapter 4, as a man thinks in his heart, so you see. No, that's not Proverbs 4. Proverbs 4 is guard your heart with all the jets. But as a man thinks in his heart, so you see. It means that what you are in your heart is what you manifest most naturally. So God decided, we will not tell them, thou shalt not from without. We will go within and write it in their heart. So that their natural state is to, listen, register it in your mind and refuse to believe anything else. It is easier for a believer to do right. Refuse to believe anything else. By the technology of the New Testament, doing right is supposed to come normal for the believer. <laughs> Next verse. So notice that God didn't say, I will change what I wrote on the tablet. So the commandments themselves didn't change. Because all the Ten Commandments was simply love God, first five, love men, second five. Which was what Jesus said was the summary of all of the law and the prophets. This will be the outcome. And they shall know me. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor. And every man his brother saying, know the Lord. Why? For all shall know me. From the least to the <coughs> greatest. Ah, for I will be merciful upon their transgressions. And their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Verse 12 is the last verse, so let's finish it. For I will, no, no, verse 13, sorry. Last verse of that scripture. In that he said a new covenant, he had made the first old. Now that which 
decay sorry now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away so it's time for us to let go of that culture take us back to romans chapter 8 let's do verse 5 now romans 8 5 that righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh so what the law could not do so what couldn't the lord do he couldn't raise a people who could live the life of god and continue living in it that's what the law could not do so the whole old testament is boring and israel seen a great sin in the sight of the lord and god sent the amorites they dealt with them then god raised somebody he delivered them then next verse and israel seen a great sin in the eye of the lord the old testament is so boring to read you know that soon they will sin there's there's really nothing else to read in the old testament soon they will sin god in his mercy will raise somebody the amalekites will slap them first god will raise somebody amorites will slap them god will raise somebody midianites will slap them god will raise somebody then god now decided to raise one generation of philistines those ones dealt with them it was a long reign he kept flogging them and really god just wants to separate for himself a people 